Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm Rena. and in today's boxes and deals, I have some dossier perfumes. If you'd like to see which two I chose and a little bonus extra that I'd like to show you, please stay tuned. thank you so much to Dossier for sending me these free for review once again. I do have some past Dossier videos that you can go watch. I have a whole Dossier playlist and I'll put that link in the description below and also in the end cards at the end of the video that you can just click on and go see that. And I'll have, you know, I think I showed about two per video. So I have lots of them that I've shown. I still have others that I've purchased through Black Friday sales and everything as well that I haven't shown. <laughs> so today I'm going to show two new ones that I got and they come in a box like this when they're shipped. Of course in an outer mailer as well, an outer box. So I love how simple, simplistic the packaging and bottles are. They just look sleek and clean. The lids are magnetic. I love that as well. When you open it, it looks like this, and it says, Iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. So, it's just between us and them, and no middle person, and no markups, and so it's very affordable. They have an amazing purpose, and I'll get into all that in a moment, but let's see what we got first. So then you open it, and it comes with the description card here, and there's the scent. The first one is Citrus Neroli, and I wanted something that kind of was summery and citrusy. I was just in the mood for that, and then I wanted one that was more springtime and lightly floral, I guess, um, of bright floral. So I chose Citrus Neroli and Floral Sandalwood. Citrus Neroli. So it will have the scent notes at the top, the name, and on the card, it will tell you what high-end brand it was inspired by. The Citrus Neroli was inspired by Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino Eau de Perfume. The top notes are Neroli, Bergamot, Mandarin, and Lemon. Middle notes are the notes that you'll kind of smell after it dissipates a little bit. Orange Blossom, Jasmine, and Lavender, and then the bait base notes are after um, or what hangs on after the main parts of the perfume have left. And the base notes are musks and amber. So I was hoping that this would be a little more citrusy. You know, I've never actually smelled the Tom Ford one, the Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. Just from the description, I thought there would be a little more citrus to it, but to me, the top notes were not so citrusy as they were kind of fresh and clean and soapy. <laughs> so when I first sprayed it, all I could think of was soap. Very fresh and very clean. Of course clean, but very fresh. Um, almost similar to Dove or Irish Spring. Kind of one of those kind of soaps, you know? I can't put my finger on it. So if you like fresh and clean, you will like this. When I first smelled it, I didn't think I was going to like it. Um, and so I was a little worried, but I went ahead and put it on, let it dry down, took note of what it smelled like, and later I fell in love with it. <laughs> because after the initial soap smell kind of dissipated, then the orange blossom notes were pulled out more. And then it dried down after a few hours. I was left with kind of a blend of orange blossom, some jasmine, and a little bit of the musk. Um, so it was blended well. It wasn't too floral or wasn't at all powdery. And it was just a clean floral. So what it made me think of was laying out for a picnic in the 
sunny blue sky, the fresh breeze blowing, and there's an orchard. And so the fresh breeze is carrying on it the scent of the orange blossoms on the air. So it's not overpowering. It's not like you're walking through the orchard, but it's just wafting through the air on the clean breeze. Maybe on the side of the lake or the ocean, it's just a very clean scent. And when I would smell it, it was, I just kept having to smell my arm and it wasn't at all overpowering. It was very light and clean and just cheerful and calming. So it is beautiful when you let it dry down. Just the initial notes were a little too strong of soap to me, but if you like clean and fresh, then you will love this. Now, all the reviews that I read about it said it, it smells just like the Tom Ford. Again, I haven't smelled that one personally, but everyone that was familiar with the Tom Ford version said it smells just like it, longer lasting, and a perfect dupe. <laughs> they don't like to call them dupes. They're inspired by but they did a really good job. Now I will say it lasted so long that the next morning I could still smell it on my arms and I had put it on like early in the day. So it was, it's very, very pleasant, long lasting, and it's not one of those in your face where everyone around you is going to smell it. It's just very light and clean. The next one, I got was floral sandalwood and and I think I grabbed the wrong card or left that one in the house because it is not here in front of me <laughs> but this is um, MFK or Maison Kirk Dijon I think I always butcher it, <laughs> that name but um, it's a version of his amorous Femi. So he, they have the amorous for men and women, and this is the one for women. So the top notes on this one are pear, tangerine flower, violet. Middle notes are amorous, orris, jasmine. And base notes are vetiver, musks, amber, and sandalwood. So this was the one that I was hoping would be kind of a balance of floral and spring but having the um musks and amber and sandalwood and vetiver i love vetiver notes in my fragrance um that it would give it a nice balance i don't smell the vetiver in this and it's been on my arm for all day now and i can still it has calmed down it's not as strong as it was initially I mean, obviously, but <laughs> let me tell you, this one was a lot more heady, a lot more, hello, I'm here, <laughs> than this one was. This one is, that floral is just, boom, right there. Um, so once again, I smelled this one initially and thought, oh no, I'm not going to like this one either. I thought I got two busts. Now, that being said, they are... Uh, at Dossier are very good about exchanges and returns. They have a 30-day guarantee. If you do not like your perfume, you can return it or exchange for a different one. And they will send you a new one or refund you. The awesome thing about that, because I, I thought about it and I was like, especially since I got these free for review, I didn't want to be like, can I switch it? I'm sure they would have let me. But thankfully, both of these, after they dried down, I did end up liking both of them. So with the returns, the amazing thing is that they donate to Give Back Box donations. So Give Back Box is a charity that helps um, and they give, you know, to, need, to needy with um, beauty products and so their perfumes that, that maybe have just been lightly sprayed and returned and then they'll donate them to give back box so I think that's amazing instead of you know it going to waste okay so this one when I first smelled it again it's it very much floral so this one is more like you're walking straight through a 
iris field. That's where it's kind of a more bitter floral. Um, very strong, very potent. Maybe there's jasmine trees around that is like <laughs> you're walking straight through in the middle of this field of flowers. So it's kind of that kind of potency when you first smell it and when you first apply it. Like I said, it is, was a lot more heady, a lot more floral than I was expecting. But when it dried down, this is one that maybe would be wonderful for a date night. Um, it's romantic, but you might want to apply it like half an hour to an hour before you go. <laughs> but maybe not the morning of because you might need to reapply because it is definitely a lot softer. And it's not as noticeable. Um, but it's dried down to a very feminine musk, um, with some floral, but it's that beautiful feminine, that sandalwood pulls through. I don't really smell the vetiver, that sandalwood, some soft musks, some softer, like the violet is still kind of hanging on a little bit, and the iris maybe. Still floral, but more balanced. So it kind of reminds me at dry down of Chanel, um, maybe like Coco Mademoiselle or one of the Chanel perfumes. So it's definitely, it smells expensive, it smells romantic. This one smells clean and fresh and cheerful and calming <laughs> once it dries down.
purchase a bottle every month or you can let it accumulate because it does not expire. So you can let it accumulate $29, $29, $29, and then they have a big sale and you can get more bang for your buck and spend it all. Um, again, that credit does not expire. It just builds up. Now you can pause that at any time or cancel, but you would still be able to have that credit to spend. So the, the credit won't go anywhere, but it'll stop charging you that monthly fee if you want to pause it or cancel it. Um, and you can cancel it up to a few months, I think. I think up to three months or pause it. If you want to pause it for three months or two months or a month, you can do that and then you can keep adding to your perfume bank. So that's called the Dossier Plus. I think that is awesome. So basically, you know, you're automatically getting a little bit of a discount and then when you build it up and then spend it during the sale, you get even more. Plus you get all your rewards and things like that. And lastly, they wanted me to let you know that they are now available at Walmart. So you can go to Walmart if you don't want to wait for it to be shipped and you know you love it or you want to go and smell it in person without it being shipped and having to ship it back. Um, I don't know if they have their full line at Walmart, but they do have some dossier available at Walmart. So go check it out. I need to do that. I haven't gone to Walmart in a long time. <laughs> so I want to go check out. And maybe in my next video, we'll go to Walmart and we'll kind of scan their dossier line and see what they have. What do you think? What is your favorite perfume um, of the high-end perfumes? Like if you were to go to Sephora or you had maybe have your favorite at home, let me know in the comments below. And let's see if the dossier has their version of that perfume. Or what are some scent notes that you like and that you would love to see in a perfume on dossier? or what's a favorite brand or specific perfume that you would like to see that they might not already have. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.